Good day Grade 12s. Welcome to your first lesson in Week 25. This is a lesson on statistics and we're going to be revising everything that you've learned so far with statistics. So let's get started. First of all, your measures of central tendency. The first one is mean. Mean is the average value of a set of data. So you just add them all up and divide by the number of terms. Your median is the middle value of an ordered set of data. So you take all your data, you order it from smallest to biggest, or from largest to smallest, whichever, and whichever is the middle value, that is the median. And the mode is the data value that occurs most often. If you don't remember these, please go back to your grade 11 and grade 10 stuff and go check your measures of central tendency. Let's move on. Your range. Your range is your maximum value minus your minimum value. The interquartile range is your in your quartile one, my, I mean quartile three minus your quartile one, and we'll talk about those in a minute. And your standard deviation is given by the square root of the sum of x minus the average x over n, and by the way, that's all squared. Now, we did have a very good lesson on that um, last year, so please go practice and go look up standard deviation if you don't remember how to do it. Moving on, your five number summary. You've got your minimum data, your lower quartile, your median, your upper quartile, and your maximum value. Your minimum data and your maximum value are obvious. Your median is obviously worked out by because it's the middle term of all your data. Your lower quartile is just really the median of the bottom half of the data, and the upper quartile is the median of the upper half. And this is represented by a box and whisker plot, which looks like this. So we remember we spoke about the fact that we had a minimum. We have the Q1, you could choose your lower quartile, your median, your upper quartile, and your maximum. And this year is your inter quartile range IQR. Now let's talk about the symmetrical data. If the data is determined to be symmetrical skewed it's always relative to the median and this is very symmetrical because it's equally distant Q1 and Q3 are equally distant from the median so we say that this data is symmetrical however you can have skewed data so if for example this distance here from q3 to the median is much larger than the distance from q1 to q to the median then we say it's skewed to the right with data is skewed to the right. What that really means is just that there's more data on this side. And similarly, if this distance here from Q1 to the median is way bigger than from Q2 to Q3, then we say the data is skewed to the left. Easy peasy. If the largest number in the data set is very far from the bulk, then we end up with a very long whisker, and we call this the outlier. And 90% of the time, if the outlier is ignored in data, but still, this is how it works. Now let's look at scatter plots. Your scatter plots are used to plot bivariate data. In other words, when you've got two variables, you're used to show the relationship between the two variables and we use it to draw a best fit line. Now best fit lines can be other things other than straight lines but for you guys your best fit line is always going to be looking at a straight line and we can be used to identify the outliers. So the correlation if we have a scatter part with a positive correlation, it means that the line of best fit is a positive straight line. A negative correlation means that the best fit line is a negative straight line. And no correlation means we don't, just can't. It just looks like there's a random set of dots. Okay. Outliers. Data that lies very far away from the bulk of the data are called outliers. So if we have that this is our best fit line, we can see that point and maybe that point as well. These are outliers. They fall very far away from the bulk of our data. And that is it, grade 12. That is the revision of everything that we learned last year. Now we're going to move on. So please make sure you know all of this before we carry on. Have a great day.